tattoos. Hello, Ivory here again, and I am a yoga teacher, as you know. And today I am here with the Desire Company. What we're gonna work on today is one of my favorite poses, Ekapada Galabhasana. So we're taking the pigeon pose. You've probably seen it in some of your yoga classes. That's this pose. This is the single pigeon, right? Usually we lay in it, we're super comfortable. We're not gonna do that one. We're gonna fly our pigeon. Let's come to Uttanasana. That's a forward fold. And then let's do it the same way we did it in the class. So bend your knees, we'll come to chair. And you can step away from the block just a bit and we'll come to this figure four shape. So I'm gonna start with my left foot, cross it over. Hands to the heart and you'll bring the hands to the blocks, okay? So you're gonna rock the weight forward, pour the weight into your hands and you'll bend your elbows. When you bend your elbow, you can't keep the arm straight, you guys, because you won't be able to lower down. You gotta lower down so the leg can lift up. So you'll rock the weight forward, bend the elbows, and then you're gonna hook the toes. Remember we did that flex and pointing thing? You're gonna hook the toes around the arm. Shift the weight forward. My knee is coming to my tricep. Think of the bird that's looking for prey, right? You see your salmon in the creek, you wanna go get it. So I rock the weight forward enough so that I can curl the heel up, right? Then I'm hooking my toes around this arm and that's gonna help me extend my leg back. And I was holding my breath there to catch it. But you have to go forward, almost as if you're gonna fall in order for the leg to be able to lift up. So there's a part of it that's a little scary and that takes a little bit of trust. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it, to do it on the other side, and I'll see you on the next video.